Hi everyone, my name is Costa, and today we are gonna explore the new feature by Framer which is called Vector. So now you can create vectors inside Framer and it's very nice. You can create, for example, different shapes and then it can also exclude them. Now the only downside is that you cannot flatten these shapes. So let me show you what I mean. In Figma, for example, I can select both of them, then go exclude them, right click, flatten. And this means that now it's one shape and not two. But in Framer, for example, when we excluded this, if I double click, I can still move this shape because these are still two shapes. They are just together in a group and they have like a mask in the center. So I hope that in the future they are gonna improve that because this allows you to create different shapes. Right now you still have one shape and yeah, when you want to animate this, it's not gonna look that great. Now let's create something interesting. So I will select the pen tool and I will create a shape like this. Right here you can increase the width of the stroke. So next I'm gonna right click and create a vector set. So now right here we can create multiple icons and put them together like in a folder. So the only way you can animate your strokes is inside this icon set. You cannot do this inside home. Now let me make the vector bigger because right now it's clipping the path. Remove the fill. I will select the path now, change the color to a blue. And if you want to add the radius to this path, just press enter on your keyboard. And now you will see these options right here, including the radius. So I will increase the radius, but I would like to select all of the corners and not just one. So now I will increase the radius to 130. Okay, next. I'm going to select effects and select stroke. And now we have an animated path. However, I would like to make this to animate on loop. So I'm going to select it, go back to stroke and then click on loop. And now I will click on continuous. So now that is going to loop like this. Let me go back to home, select the icon, select the hero, change the position to absolute, center it, make it bigger. And let me go to Z index and put it to zero. And voila, we have a beautiful animation right here. So let me show you one more thing. If you go to assets, you will find vectors and then project. And here you can find the icon set. And now you can create a new icon. So if you want to be able to animate your icons, make sure you create shapes inside this vector right here. If it's not inside, it's not gonna work. So let me paste this inside remove the fill and add a stroke, increase the stroke, then click on effects and let's preview it. So yeah, that is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.